Welcome to Peep This Out Reviews with Ian K. Stay frosty. What's going on everyone? It's Ian K back again with another high quality foodie feature for you here on the channel. Cheaters cam style. After hours over at Carl's Jr. because with fish season in full swing, now's the best time to see what they've got going on the menu just in time for it. And truth be told, I've always been pretty curious about their beer battered fish sandwich and judging by the looks of this one, it doesn't look too bad even if it's a little on the small side. But starting off with a fairly shiny bun, let's pop it and take a look underneath. Looks like you can see a little of the tartar sauce action underneath the top of this bun, but guys, take a look at the actual fish itself. What we've got here is a beer battered Alaskan Pollock filet that looks like it's fried up to a crispy golden brown. Not too overly large, it's not really super thick, but it definitely covers most of the bun. And underneath it, it looks like we've got a fairly large piece of fresh looking leaf lettuce, guys. And underneath that, a little bit more of the tartar sauce action. But coming back to the fish, guys, it looks really decent. I have to admit, even though it's not super thick, it is pretty wide. But again, a little on the small size overall, considering the size of this bun. And honestly, this really does feel like a value bun, to be honest, guys. But even still, considering what this is, this doesn't look too bad. All right, so now that we know what this one has, let's peep out the flavor on this one, guys. Here we go. It's the beer battered fish sandwich here at Carl's Jr. Let's do it. Crunchy. Mmm. The tartar's got a zing to it. And the fish has got that Alaskan Pollock flavor on this one, guys. But I gotta be honest with this already here. This really does kind of feel more like a fish stick that I'm eating right now. And considering the size of it, I guess I was kind of expecting that. But they are using Alaskan Pollock in this. And you can definitely taste that. But it's a little on the thin side, as you're gonna see after this next bite. Hang on. Good, though. Well, that's a fairly thin filet, but as you can see, it's fairly flaky in the middle, guys. And considering the amount of coating on this one, a very lovely situation. So you're getting a pretty decent type of snack sandwich, I want to say that, because it doesn't really feel full size when you bite into this one. But even still, the quality is pretty nice. The crunchiness of the lettuce and that zing from the tartar sauce is really coming through. Even though it doesn't really appear to be much on the top in that department, it's definitely in there. And the flavor is good. But again, this really does kind of smack of a value type of sandwich that I'm having here right now. And considering that a single version of this is about four bucks right here in Southern Cali, you'd be crazy not to do the two for five. That is easily the better way to go. Even if you wanted to get rid of the bread off of the second one and double up on the patty, that may be the recommendation because then it would be worth it. But again, the quality of the bun, small guys. I mean, small overall there. Flavor wise, I should say, is actually decent there. It is fairly soft, fairly fresh. And again, that size of the filet itself, as you can see, it's got some flaky action going with it, guys. It's really not too bad. Mmm. Mm-hmm. I like it, but I'm getting that Gorton's vibe from this one, guys. If you guys are familiar with any type of frozen fish stick, this is kind of what it feels like. But the quality of the fish on the inside is not bad. It's not overly hot right now either. So I don't want to say this has been sitting for a little bit. But the quality is not bad. And considering this is technically $2.50 if you decide to get the two for five, it's not too bad for that value price there. But $4 on its own, obviously you know what they're trying to do here. Still, guys, it's great to have an option for Lent. This is what they've got currently over at Carl's Jr. So at least you've got a fish option available. And considering the two for five, like I said, that is easily the way to go with this here. Let's go for one more bite. We'll close this up after the rating. But as you can tell, it's just an all right fish sandwich. And I'm glad that I'm scratching this off the food review bucket list. Because like I said, I've always been kind of curious about the beer battered fish over here at Carl's. One more bite and we'll close it out. Well, the pluses with this one are easily going to be the nice zing that I'm getting from the tartar sauce. Although there's not too much on the very top of it. What is here is getting the job done. It's pretty potent, guys. And definitely it's got a little bit of sugary flavor to it there. It's not too bad. On the bottom, of course, with that leaf lettuce, a nice combination. I'm so glad it's not shredded. And overall, what you're seeing here is a fairly decent value sized fish sandwich as an option over here at Carl's. But again, I'm saying it with me, two for five. That is the way to go. Hashtag two for five. And while we're at it, let's go for hashtag unsponsored because guys, the proof is in the pudding with this one and you easily need another one of these. If had I paid $4 for one of these right now, I would have felt completely ripped off. Two for five is the way to go. Double up on that patty, get rid of the carb off the second sandwich, and then you're good to go. That would be a nice hearty situation for you. And seriously, the flavor on that one is really not too bad. So with that said, I'm going to have to give the beer battered fish sandwich over here at Carl's Jr. a pretty okay seven and a half out of 10. I'm not going to go much higher than that because guys, like I said, I was getting that frozen fish stick vibe from it, but the quality was decent for what it is. It's just giving me that familiar feeling of that, like I'm eating a frozen fish sandwich naturally. But even still, guys, the Pollock is pretty good. It's got the flakiness to it and the overall quality of the tartar sauce. Like I said, it's got some zing, a little bit of sweetness, but it really is potent. And I really like that, actually, even though it's not really prevalent on the sandwich, what is there does work. So not bad. All right. So I've got one simple question for you outside of the usual. Are you going to give this one a shot, which you can, of course, let me know down below. The question is, can you honestly tell the difference between Alaskan Pollock cod and say maybe flounder? Can you actually taste the difference? Drop those comments down below and definitely let me know. 
And with that, this is Ian K closing out another high quality foodie feature for you here on Peep This Out Reviews, Cheaters Cam Style. After hours, bringing you brand new content every single week here on my channel. So I stay tuned for the next review coming real soon. In the meantime, stay frosty. Frozen fish sticks or not, I would definitely rock this one again. But of course, you know what I'm going to do, right? Two for five. All right, guys, until next time, I'll talk to you soon. Hey, thanks for checking out another one of my reviews. But just in case you didn't see the one before this one, you can find it right up over here, along with what I think YouTube's going to recommend for you to check out as well. As always, I think you'll find something like in both of them, and I'll definitely catch you in the next one. See ya.